great. Good evening, Netroots Nation. It is so great to be with you in person in Pennsylvania, where this November, we are gonna send historic candidates like Latasha Mays and Izzy smith Wadell to the state legislature. We're gonna send Josh Shapiro to the governor's mansion, Summer Lee to the U.S. House of Representatives, and John Fetterman to the United States Senate. My name's Helen Gim. I'm a second term Philadelphia City Council member who spent more than two decades fighting for immigrant justice, quality public schools, and for a more just city. Before ever coming into elected office, I live by one rule. The only way we win is by building power together. My political journey started in communities fighting mayors and developers who tried and failed to take Chinatown land for boondoggles like stadiums and casinos. I spent years as a parent activist fighting state takeovers, privatization, and the closing of dozens of public schools that devastated our communities and left our young people behind. Our politics never started with politicians. They started with us. Our politics are only as powerful as the movements for justice in this room. And tonight, I want to talk about what it means for us to build those movements in Pennsylvania and beyond, to win with those movements in Pennsylvania and beyond, and to transform our politics and our policies with those same movements. Now, the last time Netroots was held in person in 2019, I had the chance to host you in Philly a city which lives and breathes a radical love and revolutionary spirit. I said then that a stale and sterile establishment politics had never been more threatened by the energy in this room, and for good reason. Because since we last met, not only did Philadelphians bring someone like me back into city council with more votes than any council member in decades, our movement elected the first third-party council member in Philadelphia history, Working Families Party champion, Kendra Brooks. In 2020, Philadelphians elected DSA member Nikhil Saval to our state senate, the fifth in the state delegation. And in 2021, Philadelphians re-elected District Attorney Larry Krasner by a margin of two to one on a Justice Makes Us Safe platform. So it's not just here. Progressives all across the Commonwealth and, across and around this nation are taking down right-wing extremists and out-of-state charlatans. And yes, we are looking at you, Oz. As the co-chair of Local Progress, a national network of municipal ele electeds, I couldn't be prouder that we're propelling into office the most diverse group of electeds at all levels of government, but especially local office. They are bringing a fierce racial and economic justice agenda through school boards and utility commissions and city councils. And we're here charging into this governing world with equal parts hustle and strategy to upend the status quo and to prove that our presence makes an actual difference in people's lives. We go local because our politics are mostly most connected to the communities on the ground. We go local because we cannot wait for Congress, our state legislatures, or even the courts to save us. And since 2019, here's what it looks like when a group of Philly moms, ordinary people, and movements actually drive our politics. In one of the highest evicting cities in the nation, Philly has reduced evictions by over 70% through innovative programs like an eviction diversion law, which has been replicated in more than a dozen cities and states and is part of a national housing first movement. When the Republicans tried to hoard those ARP funds, we made sure to distribute hundreds of millions of dollars in rent assistance and home repairs to keep families housed. And we will continue to make sure that the American Rescue Plan actually rescues people and not Wall Street. When our schools were shuttered, I joined forces with cities across the country to win expanded and high-speed internet access for our children and to fight to give every child the modern, clean and green, bright, air-conditioned buildings that should be every single public school in this nation. 
And when the GOP came for our kids, when they came for our trans and non-binary youth in particular, we made sure to expand local anti-discrimination laws and mandate access to gender-neutral facilities to defend their rights. And when employers tried to lower labor standards, we saw more unionizing power from the ground up, emboldened by local, local labor laws that are out there to protect people and workers. So I want to have everybody in this room give it up for the Amazon Labor Union, for Starbucks Workers United, for the Domestic Workers Alliance, and every, every single person out there fighting for dignity and a voice on the job and righteous pay. Once on the margins, these victories form an agenda that now leads the nation. They didn't start in city halls or state legislatures. They weren't secured through brat groom deals or beltway schemes. They began as big dreams in small rooms, in PTA meetings and backyard barbecues to reclaim our public schools, on the grounds of short of, of shuttered oil refineries to build a model for a sustainable future, in staff break rooms and company parking lots to talk about a union for the people. It started in places like this, in rooms full of justice-seeking, multiracial coalition building, black, brown, indigenous, immigrant, working class, first-gen, queer and feminist rule breakers and standard break bearers. We are here to build a new economy that ends the obscene inequities of wealth and racial disparity. We are here to build an infrastructure movement for a planet and a people under siege to restore affordable housing, quality public schools, and the luscious parks for communities too long denied. And we are here to build cities that don't flood, farmlands that don't burn, and to restore our waterways and drinking water. We are here to say that this is a society that is for all of us. And if it is not working for black, brown, immigrant, and trans members, then it isn't working for anyone. And together, we are breaking ground on a people-first platform of justice, dignity, reparations, and love for all our communities. But I want to say this, before we can govern, if you are excited about all of this, and before we ever get to governing, we gotta win. We gotta win all of these elections, and don't forget this, how we campaign is how we're gonna govern because it's all on the line. When you're, whether you're in Pennsylvania or elsewhere, Roe, DACA, voting rights, marriage equality, housing justice, debt-free college, a public safety vision that doesn't drive us backwards, a municipal Green New Deal that pushes us into the future. Tonight and all through this weekend, I want you to know that Pennsylvania is gonna show the net roots, the power of the grassroots. And when we're done in 2022 in Pennsylvania, I want all eyes on Philadelphia in 2023, when the movements that have been working together for decades are gonna go for it all in the municipal elections and not only show you how to win a city, we're gonna show you what it means when we do. Victory starts here, Netroots, from big dreams in small rooms. Look around us tonight. We're not so small, am I right? So let's go and show this nation what we've got.